Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to get the truth value of a proposition in different scenarios. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. So in this video, I'll be giving you two examples, okay? Two propositions, okay? We're going to get the truth values of those two propositions in different scenarios, okay? Okay, let's have example number one, okay? So this is the first scenario for example number one, okay? So let P, this is the proposition P, okay? Lito saves money for organic and natural products, okay? And then statement Q or proposition Q, he buys paraben-free items, okay? Now, we are going to decide the truth value of P and Q given this scenario, okay? So, paano gagawin yan? Okay, so kita nyo ba yung statement P natin kanina or proposition P? Kapag itong proposition P na ito, ang nangyari sa um, scenario, ang value or truth value ni P, gagawin yung true. Okay? Pero kapag hindi ito ang nangyari sa scenario, F ang truth value ni P. Okay? So, ganun din kay Q. Kapag ito ang nangyari sa scenario, edi ang truth value ni Q ay true. Pero kapag hindi ito ang nangyari sa scenario, given scenario, F ang i-consider yung truth value ni Q. Okay? So, gawin natin. So, parang gagawa kayo ng um, maliit na truth table dito. Okay? Hahanapin niyo kung ano yung truth value ni P, truth value ni Q, and then finally, truth value ni P and Q. Kasi ito yung pinapahanap. Okay? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so let's have the first sentence. Sabi dito, Lito was not able to save much money to buy natural products. So, hindi nakapag-save si Lito ng enough money to buy um, natural products. So, ibig sabihin, obviously, itong value ni P, hindi ito nangyari, right? Hindi nakapag-save si Lito ng money. Okay, so therefore, ang value ng P natin dito ay false. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the second sentence. Okay, itong green line. Okay, tingnan nyo. He was able to purchase items, some of which contain parabens. So I think ito yung statement Q. Sabi sa statement Q, Lito buys paraben-free item. So, walang paraben. Pero dito, sa scenario natin, bumili siya ng merong parabens. So, therefore, anong truth value ni Q? F din. Right? So, therefore, anong truth value ni P and Q? Okay? It is a conjunction. Kapag may isang false, ang combination ay automatically false. So, ang sagot dito sa decide on the truth value of P and Q in the following scenario ay false. Alright? Okay, let's have the second scenario. Ito yon. Same. Um, given. Ito yung dalawang propositions natin kanina. Okay? So, we are going to decide again the truth value for P and Q. And we are given a different scenario. Okay? So, gagawa ulit kayo ng mini or small truth table. So, let's read the um, scenario, given scenario. So, we have here the money that Lito has saved was more than enough for paying paraben-free items. Okay? He even was able to buy organic food. Okay? So, para makuha ang truth value ni P dito, balik tayo kay statement P na nandito. Lito saves money for organic and natural products. Nangyari ba to sa scenario? Sa given scenario? Yes. Diba? You know, the money that Lito has saved 
was more than enough for paying paraben-free items. So, nakapag-save si Lito. And then, he even was able to buy organic food. Okay? So, nakita nyo na rin ang Q. What is the truth value for Q? Kasi dito, he buys paraben-free items. And yes, nakita nyo? Okay? Meron siyang enough money for paying paraben-free items. So, Q here is also true. So, therefore, the truth value for P and Q is also true. Okay? So, ito yung sagot. True. Okay? Yun yung truth value ng P and Q given this scenario. Okay? Okay. So, let's have this third scenario. Same. Same propositions. Okay? So, ito naman ang scenario natin. Okay? And then we have, again, this um, small truth table. So, let us read the given scenario. Though Lito has not saved for natural items, he prioritized buying paraben-free products. He is decided to change his lifestyle. Okay. So, paano kukunin ulit ang truth value ni P? Balik kayo dun sa given proposition. You check kung nangyari ba ito doon sa scenario. Okay? Nakapag-save ba si Lito ng money for organic and natural products para makabili siya ng organic and natural products? So, if you read again the given scenario, hindi, right? Ito, though Lito has not saved for natural items. So, ang P dito ay false. Okay? What about Q? O, balik kayo dito sa given na Q. Lito buys paraben-free items. Nakabili ba si Lito ng paraben-free items? Yes. Ito o. He prioritized buying paraben-free products. Okay? So that's why the truth value for Q is true. So what is the combination? What can you say about the truth value for P and Q? Ano? Since may isang false, this is automatically false. Okay? So, ito yung sagot. Ito ang truth value for P and Q given this scenario. Alright? Okay. So, let's have this second example. Sa ganun pa rin, meron tayong proposition na hahanapan ng truth value in different scenarios. Okay? Okay, let's have the first scenario. Okay? Ito yung given. Okay? In the minutes of the meeting, anong ibig sabihin ng minutes of the meeting? Yung parang summary ng meeting. Okay? So, it is recorded that all 10 members agreed that there will be a monthly contribution of 50. Okay? So, merong 10 members, tapos tig 50 peso sila. And this is our statement or proposition P, which is very natural kasi... 10 sila, di ba? 10 times 50 equals 500. So, we are going to decide on the truth value of not P. If this is our scenario. Okay? So, again, ito yung magiging itsura ng ating um, mini truth table or small truth table. We only have one proposition and then we just get the negation of the given proposition. Okay, sabi sa scenario, all members of the group paid the monthly contribution. So, to get the truth value for P, okay, balikan niyo yung given proposition na P. Okay, do you think makakakolek sila ng 500? Yes, kasi sabi sa scenario, nagbayad lahat ng members of the group ng TIG 50. Okay, eh, 10 sila, 10 sila. So, 10 times 50 equals 500. So, totoo ito. The collection for this month is 500 pesos. Okay? So, true yan. Okay? So, madali namang mag-negate, di ba? What is the negation of a true statement? False. So, yun yung sagot dito. Okay? So, the truth value of not P is false in this scenario. Okay? Uh, let's have the other scenario. Okay? 
Okay, sabi dito sa um, second scenario, the treasurer lost the payment of the three members. Okay, so kung gagawa ulit tayo ng uh, mini truth table, ano kaya ang truth value ni P? Ano ba yung sinasabi ng statement T? Ang collection daw ay 500 pesos. So sa palagay mo, 500 pesos pa rin ba ang collection kung nawala ni treasurer yung payment ng tatlong members. Hindi, right? So that's why the truth value for this um, P is F. Okay? And of course, what is the negation? It is true. Okay? So ang sagot dito, the truth value of not P is true, given this scenario. Okay? So, madali lang, right? This is the third scenario. One member left the group. Okay? So, if we have this table again, ano kaya ang truth value ni P? O, balik kayo dito sa statement or sa proposition P. Sa palagay ninyo, makakakolect ba tayo ng 500 pesos kung may isang member na umalis sa group? No. Right? So, that's why ang truth value ng ating proposition P is F. At madali ulit inigate yan, right? The negation of a false statement is true. Okay, so ito yung final answer. Ito yung truth value ng ating not P given this scenario. Okay, so I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. So, please don't forget to like this video. Share this video to your friends and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.